This video is for adults only. Adults only who are not overly sensitive to human and animal behavior the way it sometimes shows itself in nature. He's just suffering. Oh, he's just suffering, y'all. That's just, that's the face of suffrage right there. That is suffrage. All right, so today what we're doing is transporting this cute little guy. Oh my goodness, I love your face, man. Oh, Jan, leave Carl alone. I'm so sorry, Carl. Isn't it crazy how y'all were so scared of Carl hurting the babies? And in reality, it's Jan. <laughs> so did y'all know that the really neat thing about alpacas and donkeys, this is an amazing thing that, it may not be amazing to you, but in the animal world, it is amazing. Oh, he, trust me, they'll, they'll let you know when they're in heat. I am, uh, I'm, I'm remembering a story. I don't know why the, vi the video today talking about the stuff we're talking about it had reminded me of a really funny time from my childhood and it has to do with sister kim and she's gonna remember this kim will remember the story i'm sure oh, of it you think i'm talking about animals you're like lester correct yourself you mean animals will let you know when they're in heat yeah okay good morning folks lester here and today we are going to be taking a trip to the vet. Now it's not for my babies. Uh, all of our babies are fine. I know you probably your heart starts beating as soon as you hear vet visit. But uh, let me show you what we got going on out back. I'm gonna actually drive around and then we will do it all from there. So y'all hold on for a minute. So I wanna show you guys something really cool. Something that I don't know if you're able to uh, understand what this over here is. This is the neatest thing about this truck. Now I've had this truck for almost two years. Look at this backup camera. I made a video when I first had leased this truck before I decided to buy it. And uh, I called it High Tech Redneck. You hear that noise, right? That means there's goats under the truck. You hear all that? <sighs> They're jumping on the truck. They're jumping on the side of the truck. Okay. This is not cool. Hey, you have to move away from the truck. Guys, listen, I this is one of those days where I don't know what to do. I don't want to be mean and start swatting people, but I think that some people need swats. No, don't mess with me. I'm not in the mood. All right. What are you looking at? All right, Shirley, stay right there. Freckler. No! Get out of the truck! Get out of the truck! I didn't understand how to use this kind of stuff at first, and it's one of the funniest videos I think that I've ever made. It was one of the most frustrating. So if you like total shit show disasters, but what I want to show you is this over here. Look, this is the backup camera, and look at this. This is the technology that our forefathers never had. All right, I got to raise that up a little bit. Y'all see what's going on over here? Look, it, it's this little thing right here. Who would have thought that something so small could assist you so much around the farm and doing basic farm chores? Think about the old days. Anyone who's driven a truck and had to load a trailer in the old days, how much time did you spend right here trying to get this to match up perfect? Seriously, I want you to think about that for a minute. Anyone who's driven a truck and trailer, how much time did you spend trying to match these two up right there before the invention of that? So I'm back in the truck now. And look. Did y'all see that? <laughs> it's just not fair. It's not fair what we used to have to do. Look. Look, it's just not fair. Not fair, not fair at all. All right, so today what we're doing is transporting this cute little guy. Oh my goodness, I love your face, man. Uh, Copper has to go have a little vet visit. And today he's gonna get a little snip snip. You heard me right, snip, snip, one, two. 
And I believe for the most of you, you know exactly, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now listen, Copper's upset because he wants to eat. But the rules on having an animal snip is it can't have anything to eat the night, uh, the morning of or the day of their procedure. So we try to get our animals in first thing in the morning so they don't have to suffer too long. You see, he's just suffering. Oh, he's just suffering, y'all. That's just, that's the face of suffrage right there. That is suffrage. If you don't know the face of suffering, that right there is it. Oh, he's so hungry. But uh, the good news is, there's some really good news here, y'all. There's, oh, he's eating the trailer. He's so hungry, y'all. He's eating the steel of the trailer. He's so hungry. You know what? I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cheat. Let me pull this out of here. I don't like the truck being parked here because it, there's not ventilation and all that exhaust. If I can smell it, I know for a fact that copper can. Hey, do not judge. This, guys, we've had so much rain lately that uh, you, uh, you can't keep a vehicle clean. I'm about to do something that I shouldn't do, but I tell you what, I'm not going to say anything if you won't. I'm sure there's a reason why the vet says you don't give animals or you should not feed them the day of the procedure. You stop feeding them like 12 hours prior. Here, coppers. Uh, but uh, I'm just going to pour a few in here. Guys. I just can't stand. There, I get, look, that's just a few. But I just can't stand to see one hungry, especially a pig. They, their metabolism is such that they're not like most other animals. And he's just starving. He's just starving. So here's the really good news. I'm gonna walk around and show you. We're waiting for Jake to get here. This is actually Jake's pig. You already know that. And I want, Jake's gonna be a big part of this day today. But uh, Copper has been in that pasture by himself for a couple of months now because he's intact. And we do not want any of our babies to get pregnant. Uh, Peggy Pig and uh, of course Petunia here both they've never been fixed and so we've had to be real careful when they've come in heat not to allow copper because he trust me they'll they'll let you know when they're in heat i've had to come to a quieter part this is a, a much quieter spot uh no it was funny they'll let you know when they're in heat and that's important that we know when they're in heat because uh we have to be very vigilant that uh, other animals you know you've seen Big boy, which is Papa's goat, busting our pastures. You've seen the wild boar that broke in and bred Peggy Pig last year. So we have to be aware of when our animals, that's just part of being responsible. And uh, so I'll go ahead and tell you some ways that you know they're in heat. Uh, they shave their legs and their other body parts. <laughs> and they wear matching bra and panties. I'm joking, obviously. No, um, animals will let you know when they're in heat by, um, well, there's different things that they do. Hey, love. I came to find a quieter place in the barn, and the rooster keeps, you hear all this, don't you? You hear all of this. Uh, let me walk to the front pasture, maybe. That might be a little bit easier. I probably should not said that thing about shaving and matching your undergarments, because that is probably going to be taken as me being crude and i don't want y'all to think that i'm associating animals being in heat with some things that ladies do when they're in the mood or you know what let me just let me just stop uh so obviously with animals as far as the let's just say the fur babies you know that a fur baby is in heat because they'll walk up and they'll scratch their backside. Uh, they'll, I'm just gonna say scratch it, but it's more like a mas they'll massage it on the fence, on the fence post. Oh Lord, we may have to do a little rescue mission here. Uh, they'll scratch their backside, mostly their, their no-nos on something. Um, and it's a very different scratch to scratching your no-nos compared to just scratching your neck or scratching other body parts, okay? And so, <laughs> they're having so much fun over here. All mammals will let you know when they're in heat. <laughs> that probably just did not come out right. But, um, so here's what the kids say. The kids I teach, they call it thirsty. Oh, Mr. Morrow, she's thirsty. 
I don't know why they say thirsty. It's a, some kind of an expression that they use, but it just means that uh, they're a little frisky. Let's just say frisky. So one's feeling a little frisky. So here's Peggy Pig over here. And uh, Peggy Pig is still, uh, she, you know, we, she never had a procedure done. So Peggy Pig is the one that got in, in bred by the feral hog last year and produced a beautiful uh, four babies. One passed away. One, uh, sorry, you're gonna have to, you don't wanna watch any. But uh, I remember I was spying on Kim one day. I used to always spy on her and she was getting dressed for something. And uh, I saw her putting on her perfume and she took some and she put it on her, I'm trying to do it here. She put it on her, I can't video at the same time. You know how girls will put the perfume on their like, uh, the inside of their wrist. Then they'll rub it on their other wrist. You know what I'm talking about. And then uh, I remember that she took that same perfume and she put it on her neck. And all of a sudden, the jealous brother in me just exploded. I just exploded with this anger. And, uh, of course, I start freaking out and marching across the house. Now, guys, I was young. I was a little guy, but not that little, I guess. But I just exploded with jealousy that Kim's getting herself all dolled up to let some guy smell on her neck. Man, I was mad. I was marching across that house mad. I was going to go off and tell dad. And so when I told dad, this is funny, because my dad was a grown man. And dad heard what I was telling him about how Kim was, uh, I don't know if she was going to go out or if she was going to school or church. I don't know where she was going, but she was already a teenager. And she, I says, dad, and she put perfume on her neck. And dad was equally concerned. Dad was equally concerned. And I remember that mom had to come to Kim's defense and explain to me and dad that that's all women wear perfume in different body locations because it, I guess when it mixes with heat or it produces some kind of, man, I'm going to get it all wrong again. So see, I, as much as I claim to know women, <laughs> I don't know half of what I'm talking about. So I hope you don't take this too serious. I hope you don't take this too serious because I remember I freaked out on Kim for putting perfume on her neck. And for all of you ladies who wear perfume, you know you put it on certain body parts, not because you're gonna have some guy exploring them body parts, but because certain body parts, ex uh, I don't know what I'm saying, just, just ignore half of what I say. Hey, here's what you can do. Do like most men do. Perk your ears up when you want to hear something I'm saying. And all the other times, just put the... Just mute it. Just mute me. Us guys know more than you think we might. And I'm sure you girls know that us guys, you can tell when we... You can tell when we are in the mood. Let's just say in the mood. Let's move on to animals. Let's get back to the back and carry on with our animal conversations. But uh, here we go. So Peggy Pig is the mother to Pig Newton. He's half feral. No, he would be three qu Oh my God, Ernie, really? Okay. So did y'all know that the really neat thing about alpacas and donkeys, this is an amazing thing that, it may not be amazing to you, but in the animal world, it is amazing. Alpacas and donkeys always poop and pee in the same spot. You think I'm making that up? Look it up. You guys love to Google, so look it up. Alpacas and donkeys will always poop and pee in the same spot. Oh my God, really? Stop it. Okay, I'm not going to video that. So, uh, without making the video, this is a really rough video to make. Okay, everything's good now. But um, as far as pasture cleanup, it's really easy in these pastures because there's always one pile of poop from the donkeys one pile from the alpacas and uh, we can just simply rake that around the goat poop is so small you never see it same as the pig poop uh and then of course all of the feathered babies they're this i don't know why i'm even talking about this y'all their poop is mixed with their pee so it's just kind of a splash on the ground <laughs> same as chickens uh anyway so let's just move on to talking about copper now that we have or we're getting copper fixed He'll be able to come over here and share a pasture with our babies. 
So he's no longer going to be isolated off to himself. He will be a part of this pasture and he'll hang out with all of our Ringos and Carls and all of our babies. Oh, Jan, leave Carl alone. I'm so sorry, Carl. Isn't it crazy how y'all were so scared of Carl hurting the babies? And in reality, it's Jan. <laughs> it's Jan and Carl Cornholio saying, leave him alone. She's thirsty. She's thirsty. She's in heat. <laughs> oh, my goodness, y'all. Uh, no, but I am so happy that Copper is going to be able to come over and be a part of our babies. Now, he's still going to be Jake's rescue. Hey, Trudy. But uh, he'll be able to come over here and share a barn during the winter months. And we're really excited about that. He's a great, he's a great uh, rescue. He's just been an amazing little guy. But it is sad that he's been over there by himself for so very long. Anywho, it's early. It's not even 9 o'clock yet. I have gotten back from my bus run. And all we're waiting on now is... Well, that's messy. Real funny, Ivy. Real funny. So... Okay, I'm trying to make a video here. Um, so what happened was, this is where I put the roll of hay for Tex. I can't put the roll of hay in that thing that I built last year because he will push it out and unravel it all across the ground. You see all the unraveled hay? So I thought, you know what, I'll just start putting it here because even though a Tex can push, he can't pull. No, he can't pull, right? Well, then you're asking yourself, then what in the world happened here, Lester? What happened here? So I didn't get it on video because it happened overnight. But what Tex did was got upset that he could not get this hay unraveled. So he began to dig his horns and just throw it, throw it. It's like taking two giant pitchforks. It's like taking a pitchfork and just tossing up. It's like tossing a salad. It's like tossing a salad. And he takes those big old horns of his and begins to toss his own hay salad here. And so, the, so this is the good news and the bad news. There's good news and there's bad news. The good news is, hi, Ringo. Oh, Ringo's getting old, y'all. He's slowing down a lot. He's not sick, but he's slowing down. So the good news is the hay is still covered. So it's not getting wet because if this hay was to get wet like this, it would begin to rot. And so the hay is not getting wet, okay? But the bad news is these guys are not as clean as the alpacas and the donkeys. So they will walk on it. They will poop on it. They will pee on it. And at that point, they won't eat it. So they're not able to get to this corner. There is no way I can make this video with all of this going on. Gray Goose, why is she doing this? Gray Goose, why, baby? I'm making a video about the cows and hay and females in heat. Um, anyway, okay, well, you know what? I'm just going to end this video because you can't hear me anyway. All right, you win. You win. There, here comes the rest of them. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, I'm excited to get Copper taken care of. I know Jake will make a more of an in-depth, a detailed video about the entire process. But uh, I'm really happy to be able to bring him home. And we'll put him in a stall for a couple of days. And by the weekend... He will be able to come out here and you'll be able to see him meet up with uh, these two ladies here. He'll probably hang out with Tiny Tim a little bit. I don't know who, who he's going to bond with. We always like watching our animals partner up and bond with somebody. I don't know who his partner will be. Okay. <laughs> this ain't going to work out. All right, guys. Y'all have a wonderful day. Oh, and... Uh, Y'all stay tuned. There'll be a lot more to come on Copper. I'm afraid that Jake has just pretty much allowed Copper to come to become free game for uh, all of our animal videos. So you'll see Copper a lot.